depression. Uh, this is a response to Too Many Minds' video on the subject. And I don't really claim to, or I'm not trying to sort of refute anything that he's saying in as much as um, I'm just trying to add my perspective or express my perspective on the reality of um, the perceptions of depression. How real are the perceptions that one undergoes when suffering from depression? How much of depression is an actual accurate view of your reality, which is one of the um, problems that compounds um, depression, assuming that one sees depression as a problem. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned before, the, the uh, tendency, or perhaps if you want, the fact that um, depression all often looks mighty real. Um, that it's sort of a, a form of reality. Um, that one is seeing things clearly in the depressed state. Well, that's an interesting one, and here's how I look at it. And um, this works for me, uh, and I don't advocate this for anyone. Um, but here's how I see uh, the reality of depressed thoughts. Um, about 80% of my vision comes out of, or is from this eye. Um, if I were to lose this eye, I'd lose some depth perception. Um, some lateral vision, things like that, but I'd still be able to function quite nicely if I had just this eye. But I've often wished that I could do something about the weakness of this eye. Now, I've trained myself over the years. I do these weird little things, but I've trained myself to bring my awareness into this eye. I don't know how it actually works, but it is a mental thing where you just sort of say, okay, I'm just going to concentrate on what's being seen by this eye, keeping both eyes open. Um, the information is um, not blocked out from either eye, but I just bring my awareness into this eye. It's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. Now, I would look at, or I think I consciously... Um, opted to see um, my depressed thoughts um, as opposed to my happy thoughts or non-depressed or the opposite of depressed thoughts in the same way. Okay, the depressed thoughts are real enough. Let's just assume that they are. They look real. They feel real. Uh, my experiences tell me that they're real. Um, so I don't really want to deny reality here. But there is another reality that balances things out. Um, if I bring... Okay, right now, let's say I'm in a depressed state. So right now, my mind is sort of over-specialized. My moods are over-specialized towards the negative. Now, I don't want to cease to avail myself of the input of the negative or the depressed thoughts or however you wish to describe those thoughts. <clears throat> but I want to, um, I assume, that, however, that that's not the only, uh, this, this isn't a binary thing here. I'm not saying that depression versus happiness or depression versus joy or whatever other non-depressed term you want to use is an either-or thing. Let's say that I want to see both because both of them are legitimate. Bring your awareness consciously into the positive without blocking out the negative. Again, use your own terminology here. Uh, balance. It's amazing how much sort of more value, I suppose, positive value, if you want to use that kind of terminology, one gets out of depression when it's kept balanced by the opposite of depression. Very difficult to discuss these sorts of things, not not because that it's a difficult subject or painful or anything, but it's just, it's very hard to get across what you're trying to say here. Um, I think that people who try to conquer depression in many ways take the binary approach. And that might not necessarily work for everyone. Um, 
perhaps some sort of integrative approach, which is kind of the one that works for me. But again, I come at depression from a dozen angles simultaneously. Um, but I, too, sort of thought that, well, there's at least some value in these negative thoughts that I have, or the depressed thoughts. Um, so how do I continue to sort of um, obtain that value um, without <laughs> having the depression kill me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>